Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Talk About Sports coming to you from Paul Six High School here at the first annual Winter Classic Shootout Boys Basketball Showcase. I'm here with Terry Collins today. Our first game up is uh, Woodbury against Lawrence. We have eight games today. We hope everybody stays tuned. Uh, we are broadcasting live in the cafeteria. So just to let everybody know that we will be doing a live comp, you know, show here today. Uh, Terry, what do you think about this game here today? Um, well, first off, this is a way, to, a good way to start off the tournament. Um, the battle of the two number one uh, seeds in Central and South Jersey. Um, I think it should be a great game, and uh, as should the rest of the day. Yes, the SS Terry said they're the number one seeds. Florence is the number one seed in uh, Central Jersey, and Woodbury is the number one seed here in South Jersey. Um, later today, we have a big matchup at three o'clock. The number one team in South Jersey, St. Augustine Prep, going up against Camden. But I think right now it's like ranked number eight in South Jersey. Um, it should be interesting to see um, how Woodbury rebounds after coming off a, a tough loss against a uh, conference and um, in-town rival against Paulsburg. Um, they lost a very close game. Uh, it's interesting to see um, if they'll come in with a lot of energy or if they'll come out flat, kind of feeling disappointed from that loss. So look forward to this one. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to It's All About Sports. We will be here all day today and tomorrow. This is uh, for the first annual classic, winter classic shootout at Part of Six High School. Hi, my name is Megan Hunter. I'm the owner and director at Groove Dance Fitness Training. We specialize in dance cardio and different genres of music. We also specialize in nutrition, meal plans, and meal prep service. So if you're ready to get fit, come rock with us. I'm the owner and director at Groove Dance Fitness Training. We specialize in dance cardio and different genres of music. We also specialize in nutrition, meal plans, and meal prep service. So if you're ready to get fit, come rock with us. I'm the owner and director at Groove Dance Fitness Training. We specialize in dance cardio and different genres of music. 
We also specialize in nutrition, meal plans, and meal prep service. So if you're ready to get fit, come rock with us. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Robert Page from It's All About Sports. And it's Terry Collins. Okay, today's schedule, the first game is Woodbury versus Florence. Both are number one seeds in the playoffs. Uh, Florence is Central Jersey. Woodbury is South Jersey. It's a possible Central Jersey matchup and for the go to the states. The second game at 10.30 is Winslow versus Woodstown. Then the third game is Camden Catholic at Willingboro. Starts at 12 p.m. The fourth game at 1.30 is Penn Salk in the Middle Township. And then the big game of the day at 3 o'clock is Camden 14-4. Number one seed in Group 2 South. And St. Augustine Prep, number one team in South Jersey, is 19-0. And a number one C in the South Non Public A. And then after that, we have a 5 30 Cherokee and Wildwood Catholic. And then the 7 o'clock game, Bishop Houston's the Holy Spirit. And then the 8 30 game, the not final game of the day, is Highland at St. Joe versus St. Joe's at Hamilton. And then tomorrow's lineup is no shortage of excitement. Uh, at 12 o'clock, we have the first game being Medford Tech versus Manchester. Then the 1.30 game will be uh, the host, Paul Six versus Bordentown. And the 3 p.m. game, which should be a, an exciting one, Paulsburg versus Atlantic City. And 4.30 p.m., we have the Pensgrove High School versus Pleasantville. And then we wrap it up at 6 p.m., Cumberland versus Howe. So there we have it, two days of a lot of basketball excitement. Um, should be a big preview um, going into the state tournament. So looking forward to this one. Yes, and um, this first game here, Woodbury and, and Florence, uh, this is really a good test for both teams going into the tournament uh, for them to go in and um, see what they can do with the higher level. But uh, here we go. We're getting ready for the national anthem coming up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Woodbury comes in with a record of 18 and 3, and Florence comes in with a record of 15 and 4. Big players to watch here for Woodbury is uh, Noel, uh, number 12. No, Noel's number is number 11, and Aaron Estrada, number three. Aaron Estrada is a sophomore. 
standout for Woodbury. And he's touted as one of the top uh, sophomores in the state of New Jersey, actually. Okay, we're going to get started. No national anthem here. Here we go. That's our man Don Polk here. What a big time referee. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're bringing the white, Florence in the blue. Woodbury is one to jump ball. Estrada with the ball over on the left hand side of the court. Noel out top. Oh, rebound by Florence. Woodbury's going to have to crash the boards today to come up with a big win against this pretty uh, tall Florence team down there. Oh. Florence opens the game up with the score. That's number 34 for Florence. Marcus Crowell. First shot off, and I think that's going to be a key for Woodbury also as Dean Triplett gets the put back. Okay. Offensive rebound is going to play a big part in today. Whichever team can obviously um, collect the most offensive rebounds, give the team the most opportunity to points. And he has a steal by Noel ahead to Triplett as that ball goes out of bounds. Um, Triplett. Florence to inbounds the ball. Number three, Hazel bringing the ball up court. He's a junior. Both teams roughly have about five singles, so I'm sure they're both looking to capitalize on a, a, such a good year and hopefully win state titles in each section. Then to go on further, uh, as Woodbury I know has five singles, and I believe Florence has uh, about the same amount of seniors as well, so. The three, Hazel controlling the ball, bringing it past half court. Woodbury's in a zone. Oh, foul on the stride. Nope, that foul. That foul was on Kyle Bailey, actually, number 14. Foul on Bailey. Kyle so, Bailey is another one of the seniors on this uh, heavily league senior team for Woodbury. Going to the line for Florence is uh, Jalen Lewis. Shooting two. That's Kyle Bailey's first foul, actually. <laughs> Noel with the shot. Estrada with the hustle. With the Again, Woodbury with an offensive rebound. Both teams starting early on the offensive glass. Yes, it looks like right now both teams are neutralizing each other. With some good competitive play. Back up top to Strada. Strada with a three. 
that's going to be a key to getting them going, especially from long distance early. And he's probably, if not their best, their second best three point shooter. So, okay, Woodbury comes out now to 1 3 1 trap, half court 1 3 1 trap. Oh, good block by Noel. Woodbury's been pushing the ball up. Estrada with the ball in the corner. He drives to the hole. Ooh, nice layup by Estrada. Timeout, Florence. So far, Florence has had the ability to get the ball and get some good looks down low, but they're not capitalizing. They're not capitalizing at all. It looks like if Woodbury pushes the ball also, they'll step out on top. Turnovers, uh, they haven't yes. allowed them to totally separate so far. Yeah, a lot of, lot of turnovers. And there's another turnover by Florence. Another turnover by Florence. Yes, another turnover by Florence. And um, there's a lot of turnovers. There's only two, four team fouls here in the, in the first quarter, which is not bad, but there's so many turnovers. And there we go. We end the first quarter. The Woodbury up 15 to 7. Well, so far, um, like I said, we're looking at a, a possible matchup. Truck Month at Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Spirit has over 400 vehicles to choose from and 70 trucks on the ground ready to roll today. Drive home a new 2017 Ram 1500 quad cab for as low as $149 per month. Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram will get you driving today. Rates start at 0% with terms up to 84 months. For over 25 years, the Delaware Valley's smartest shoppers have been saving thousands on their new vehicle with the Spirit Saver price. Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is right off I-95 at the base of the Commodore Berry Bridge. You're only minutes away. Online 24-7 at Spirit. Chrysler Dodge Jeep.com. Spirit, we're selling excitement. Spirit. Ray start the second quarter. Florence's ball. So far, what we've seen is Florence being able to get the ball down low. Um, they've not taken advantage of it. Um, we've seen Woodbury playing a little bit of up tempo, been able to create some turnovers um, as they've taken an eight point lead. Um, again, like we said earlier, this could be a possible preview of the um, a Group One um, state game um, coming into the tournament. Um, both teams being the number one seed in their section. Woodbury, South Jersey, and Florence, Central Jersey. There's another opportunity. Florence down low. Um, good pass. Number 13 scores. Uh, Jabril Edmund. So, again, Florence has continued to work down low. Uh, Woodbury, they will lay up. And that basket, number two, Dean Triplett. So, Woodbury kind of matches that. As you said, Rob, uh, Florence has yet to uh, take too many jump shots from their guards. Um, they continue to work on their game plan of going down bottom to the uh, forwards in the center. So we'll see if they continue to pound the ball down low. Kind of a wild shot there by number three. Ooh, that was Nick Hazel. We'll play ball. Florence continues to turn the ball over. I don't know if maybe the nerves are a little rattled or maybe just the excitement of coming into such a big matchup. They haven't been able to settle down yet. Good shot there. Oh, no basket. I'll put the foul. That was a good take to the hole by Jay Sean Harvey. I probably needed to pull up a little bit shorter as he commits the offensive foul. But I like what I'm seeing out of Woodbury early here in this game. A little bit of pressure on defense. They're pushing the ball up and down the court. That's what they need to do. Florence still continues to pound the ball inside. Again, another basket by Jabril Edmond. Edmond is a junior for Florence. So far, he's been able to get a couple baskets down. Yeah, Edmond has six points right now. He's leaving Florence. That's a steal by Edmund. 
as he scores again. So far, he seems to be the team leader for Florence. Looks like they're going to need to keep feeding him the ball, getting him going. Clark has a little bit of momentum here. Good steal there by Woodbury. Stop that fast break. Noel with the ball. Oops, another steal, another turnover. Edmund with the offensive rebound. Edmund with another basket. So far, Woodbury is not. Woodbury, timeout. Florence has come back. Timeout Woodbury 17-15 with five minutes and 43 seconds left in the half. So far, Woodbury has not been able to find an uh, answer to match Edmonds' energy. Uh, he's on the offensive glass. He's out in defense. Um, he's got a couple steals. Been able to create a couple fast buckets uh, for Florence. Kind of what they needed right now. Yes, that was big for Florence to come out that quarter to, um, to bounce back in this game to cut that lead down to two. Now, as Woodbury calls a timeout, we'll see how they're able to answer um, with a little bit of adversity. Like I said, like you said, coming out of the quarter, Woodbury's only scored two points uh, to Florence's eight. So, yes, we will see what happens here after this timeout. It's good for them. It's t every every team right now is making their playoff adjustments, getting ready for the playoff run. So this is key right now. Your coaching really comes in big at this point in the season. So far, I'm noticing uh, coming into this quarter, Woodbury, um, Jazir, and Noel still on the bench. Um, Noel's averaged 24.2 in his right. last seven games. Um, he's one of the top scorers in the state, um, as he has been for the last two years. Um, he's also the leading, uh, believe, leading rebounder and scorer. Right, and he only has one point at, the, at this point at this point of the game. And he's still on the bench. Yes. So. Good shot. Basket by number 22, Daquan Brinkley. Mm -hmm. So, way to respond by Woodbury coming out of timeout. They kind of needed that basket uh, to stop Florence's run. And again, as we see Florence yeah. down low, Edmund, they, they yeah. Yeah. Again. no answer for him right now. He's, I believe, scored the last eight points for Florence. Yes, he has. They're going to have to find a way to get a body on him, front him, uh, play him a little better. Estrada. Good move by Estrada there to solve it. That's another thing. They're going to need to get Estrada going. I see no yes. on the bench. I don't timeout. I don't know what's going on with Who that. Who called that timeout? Is it? I believe Florence called it. Florence the called the timeout. And we will go to a commercial break. Director at Groove Dance Fitness Training. We specialize in dance cardio and different genres of music. We also specialize in nutrition, meal plans, and meal prep service. So if you're ready to get fit, come rock with us. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Back in action. Florence down four. They've been able to, have been able to pick up the pace here in the second quarter. Florence continues to get the ball inside, but they're not capitalizing on it. They're getting a very high percentage shot. Turn over a little bit. Nope. Off of Florence. Ball stays on the very first. 
Number 23, Marcus Magruder, subbing into the game for Woodbury Kyle Bailey, heading to the back. Well, Terry, you're right. Uh, Noel continues to sit on the bench. Uh, maybe this could just be a decoy for Woodbury, just in case they do meet this team in the South and Central State game, the right to go to the state championship. Also, they could be trying to get some of these other younger players um, coming off the bench a little bit of time, um, see how they pan out. Like I said, this could be a, a preview of a big game um, down the road. So. Good pass. Good pass by Carter, the triplet. Carter's actually a sophomore for Woodbury. Uh, probably looks to be starting next year, so definitely get some good varsity minutes this year. There's Florence was inside again. Still yet to take a oh, that's a jump shot, miniature mid-range jump shot for Florence. And they still compound the boards. The Woodbury comes out of there winning. Here's Estrada on the fast break. And there's the three ball for Woodbury. Oh, in and out. Ball controlled by Darius McNeil. Back inside again with the ball, then they pop it back out. Back inside again. Florence could not throw the ball when it gets the side of a bar. But they're still in the game. Estrada found a chance to make a three-point play here. And again, like I said, Woodbury's going to need to get Aaron Estrada going. Like I said, he's uh, one of the best sophomores in the state. Um, and while Noel's still on the bench, he's definitely going to need to take over for this team. He's going to be an uh, intricate part in Woodbury's run to the uh, possible Group 1 South Jersey Championship. So Yes, he is. I believe he's averaging just under 20 points himself. So they're going to need him, um, you know, like I said, to capitalize and to take control, especially right now. And a shot of 6 to 1 for the make a three point play there. So Put Woodbury up 26 to 17 with three minutes left in the half. All right, so after coming out of the second quarter hot, Florence has kind of cooled off. Travel. As again, Rob, we see another turnover by Florence. Yes. Florence continues to play inconsistently. They had a good run uh, going with Edmund, scoring um, eight straight baskets for them. Now they've continued to uh, turn the ball over as they did a lot in that first quarter. And, and for Woodbury, um, as talking about going to that South Jersey final, they just played Paulsburg on Tuesday at Paulsburg, and they, they split during the season. Paulsburg's the number two seed, Woodbury's the number one seed, so there could be a possibility that they'll meet for the third time for the South Jersey Championship at Woodbury. I tell you what, if that happens, you see those two teams meet again, you can definitely expect a sellout crowd early, high energy, fast pace, up and down. Um, you know, that's definitely a biggest rival for those two, and like I said, you know, the first two games, um, were definitely good games. With the first game, Woodbury um, winning by about 17-18, but Paulsburg was definitely not at full strength. Right, they weren't, and uh, but they were at full strength, and they had a great game Tuesday. It could have went either way, but the home team did win. There was a basket by number 34 for Florence. And as we've seen again, Florence That's cool. well. Florence able to get some points down low, which has definitely been their strength. As you were mentioning earlier, that game Tuesday was definitely a great game between uh, the number one and two seed in South Jersey, uh, Group One. Uh, Paulsburg, Eric Diaz had a great game for Paulsburg, uh, the junior forward guard. Yes, he did. Diaz did have a good game for Paulsburg. We'll see Paulsburg here tomorrow against Atlantic City at 3 o'clock. That will be an action packed game up and down the court. So if you could be, come out and be here tomorrow, make sure you're here. For day two of the Paul the Six 2017 Winter Classic Showcase. Woodbury moving the ball around. Woodbury has continued to give Florence opportunities to keep this game close so far. Woodbury hasn't been able to consistently score themselves. So Florence with some good ball movement, moving the ball around. Florence has seen them play a good high-low game so far, which has paid yes. off for them. And they missed another layup. And they got a rebound. Off the rebound. They put it back in. And that's Edmund again. He's the workhorse, number 13, uh, the junior from Florence. Uh, Edmund, 
And then again, he has scored 10 points in this quarter for Florence. And there's another turnover by Woodbury. So as we've seen so far, Emmett has been the workhorse. He's been able to keep him close all by himself, uh, seemingly with rebounding um, as he missed that last basket, but then got the offensive rebound and was able to put it back in. Right now, it seems like Woodbury hasn't had an answer for him. No, they haven't had an answer for him. Um, he's dropped in 10 points in this quarter. He has 12 for the. He has 14 for the game already. And he all scores. Florence lost the ball and was able to get and it. And he back. has another one. Listen, Woodbury's going to have to do something about him. Who's that? And that basket, number 22. Laquan Brinkley. So, so far again, as we've seen, Woodbury is struggling to stop uh, Edmund, number 13, the junior. And that's the first three we've seen from Florence. There's number three, Mr. Shot. Woodbury pressing the ball up. Good, Good pass. pass from Carter. That was a great pass, bounce pass from Carter to Jay Sean Harvey as he's fouled. Jay Sean Harvey will go to the line for two. And as Noel continues to sit on the bench of Woodbury, um, but Woodbury's holding their own, so it's a pretty good look here for Woodbury to, to play without their star player and to maintain their lead. Right now, Woodbury has one senior on the court. Uh, they have two sophomores, a junior, and a fr I'm sorry, three sophomores on the court right now. And a junior, and then one senior. So like I said earlier, maybe they're looking to get some of the underclassmen, uh, younger guys uh, on the court to, you know, try to get them on track and focus, uh, preparing them for this uh, group one run. Harvey misses the foul shot. Flies rebound. So Florence has a, a six-point deficit under 10 seconds here. We have 7.2 seconds left in the half. We're, we're bringing up 29 to 23. Florence misses the shot. And that's the half. With Woodbury, 29. Florence, 23. For a pretty good first half for Woodbury, uh, they maintain their lead without the star player, which is key. All right, and it's been an up and down game. We've seen a lot of fast plays, um, a lot of turnovers by Florence. Woodbury also has contributed to a lot of turnovers. But as we see, Woodbury has been able to uh, keep control and keep the six-point lead. Uh, Florence was able to rebound from that first half deficit to get it a little closer, but as we see, number 13, Edmund, has been their star player today, and Woodbury has struggled yes, to stop yes, him. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Edmund has, a, has a 18 points. No, he has 16 points. Edmund has 16 points and a half, leading all scores. That's for Florence. Continue. Yeah, Estrada has 12 points for Woodbury. Like I said, that's the guy that they're going to need to get going. Yes. Um, Estrada is um, he's the top player, um, one of the top players in sophomore, should I say, in the state of New Jersey. And also, as we see, uh, uh, Jazir Noel, the talented senior from Woodbury, continues to sit. Yeah, he has ice right board. now. I don't know if something's wrong. He has ice in his hands. Maybe he could be hurt. But, but we'll be right back. It's halftime now, and we'll be back with the broadcast of the second half of the game. Of Truck Month, it's Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Spirit has over 400 vehicles to choose from and 70 trucks on the ground ready to roll today. Drive home a new 2017 Ram 1500 quad cab for as low as $149 per month. Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram will get you driving today. Rates start at 0% with terms up to 84 months. For over 25 years, the Delaware Valley's smartest shoppers have been saving thousands on their new vehicle with the Spirit Saver price. Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is right off I-95 
drive at the base of the Commodore Barry Bridge. You're only minutes away. Online 24-7 at Spirit. Chrysler Dodge Jeep.com. Spirit, we're selling excitement. Spirit. At Woodbury, it's Woodbury Ball. And coming into the second half, uh, the two leading scorers uh, for Florence um, is Emin. Um, obviously, as he you know, pretty much controlled the whole second quarter there for Florence. And also, um, the sophomore, talented sophomore, Aaron Estrada for Woodbury. Two leading scorers. So. Beginning the second half, Woodbury starts with the ball. As Noel continues to sit out, um, possible injury there we've seen uh, at the end of the first half. Missed shot by Kyle Bailey. Woodbury looked to have the control of the offensive rebound, lost the ball out of bounds. So Florence will get their first possession of the second half. So Florence with a six point deficit. Um, Woodbury's biggest lead, I believe, was 10 points in that first half in the first quarter. And again, Florence, as in the first half, continues to turn the ball over. You can't go but so far in the playoffs if you have to. Uh, with a deep three. That's just amazing that uh, Florence is still in this game with all the turnovers. Exactly, Rob. I was thinking the same thing. Um, less than a minute into the second quarter, and already Florence has two turnovers. They've been able to keep the game close, but they have yet to capitalize to get the lead. I don't believe they've led this whole game so far. And, and they've getting, gotten a lot of high percentage shots around the basket by punching the ball inside. All right, they've been able to get it down low, number 34, and uh, Emma, number 13. There was the ball inside again. And another turnover third by Florence. Turnover. Third turnover already in this quarter. Oh, a big three for Woodbury. They I'm sorry, that was um, Kyle Bailey, number 14, on a deep three-point shot. He's another uh, big perimeter player for Woodbury. Um, Bailey, I believe, is a senior. Yes, Bailey is a senior. We haven't seen too much, uh, too many jump shots from Florence so far in this first half. They've continued to get mid-range um, in the paint jumpers. And there again is another in the paint Edmund. shot. Edmund, he continues to kill Woodbury down there. So the junior forward again is able to score a basket for Florence. He's kind of put this team on his back, it seems. Yes, he's leading all scores with 20 points at this point in the game. It's a one-man show. He now has 21 of the 26 points that Florence has in this game. Triplet with a move to the basket. It's fouled on the play. So Woodbury with a six-point lead, lead two minutes into the third quarter. Dean Triplett, he's also another one of the seniors here for Woodbury. Triplett hits the first foul shot. Triplett nails the second shot. That pushes it to 34-26. Woodbury with an eight-point lead. Florence with another layup. And again, Rob, as we've noticed all game, Florence continues to get inside close-range shots. Yes, they do. They're getting high percentage shots. Keeping the game close. Oh, 
There's a foul on Florence. <laughs> Woodbury seems to be the better team, but again, uh, they've allowed Florence to stay close. You know, Florence, Florence isn't the number one seed in Central Jersey um, by chance. You know, they've earned that right, so they continue to stay close uh, despite a lot of uh, sloppy play here in the uh, first half and continuing into the second, third quarter. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's very sloppy play, but like you said, they are hanging in there, and it's still anybody's game. A deep three by Estrada. Miss. Rebound Florence. Hazel continues to bring the ball up for Florence. Florence, good ball movement. They continue to move the ball and look for number 13. As he goes to the hole and is fouled. So again, it's been no secret here as um, Florence has continued to get Jabril Enman in the game. Uh, they look to uh, continue to get him some good looks as he'll go to the foul line shooting too. As Enman misses the first foul shot. Florence has a chance to cut the lead to five here. I believe they haven't had a lead uh, that close, uh, somewhere around four points, somewhere in the second quarter. So, And Emmon misses the second, but gets his home rebound. He's playing at a high pace, high energy today. Yes, he is. A one-man team right now. Look at him. He's doing everything for Florence right now. As he misses that shot. And again, Rob, he's only a junior, so he'll be back next year. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice player. If you get some help, man, they can really do some damage. That's a missed shot, but again, Florence is able to get the offensive rebound. Florence gets a basket. That basket is number 34. Number 34, Marcus Crow uh, on the offensive rebound. And now Florence has an opportunity to cut the lead from four to either one or two. So, again, they've uh, consistently been able to stay in this game. Uh, bad shots, uh, missed opportunities by Woodbury, along with great play from their junior, Enman. There's a rare outside shot by Florence. I would love to see their shot chart today. I believe they've taken yeah. maybe yes. only five outside shots. Yeah, uh, uh, they have a lot of high percentage shots. What a crossover by Strada. I believe he was called for a push-off there. <laughs> Again, um, Woodbury has been able to keep this, uh, maintain the lead um, throughout the, the game, I believe, since the tip-off. Um, and then, as we've seen in the second and third quarter, they've been able to keep this lead without their starting, uh, their star player, actually, the senior, Jazir Noel, who continues to sit on the bench. Uh, we believe he's maybe nursing a hand injury. That ball tapped out of bounds by Estrada. Good uh, defensive play there. With 34-30, with three minutes and 24 seconds left in the third quarter, Woodbury is up. Florence with the ball. Florence can cut this game down to a two-point lead or a one-point lead with a basket here. Still Woodbury. And out of bounds on Woodbury. That's a nice hustle by Woodbury there. That's funny. It was a, a good steal, and he attempted to go around the referee. And stepped out. Yeah. As the referee is part of the play, so. Yep. They continue to pound the ball inside, but then another turnover. Started with a steal. Goes for layup. 
It was good. Estrada. Woodbury pushes the lead back up to six. Florence again taking the ball into the basket down the middle. They continue to uh, constantly get close uh, shots. Like you said, they're taking high percentage shots, which has pretty much uh, kept them in this game. Because, like I said, they've had a lot of turnovers. So. Yeah, Estrada with 14 points. Pace and Woodbury's score. As you said, Estrada's been able to uh, score about, what, 16? Yes, I think he has 16 points, I thought I said. So he's Woodbury's leading scorer. As he's, uh, his father was 14 also, points. 14, yeah. His so father 14. was also a star player in the late 90s for Woodbury High School. Yeah, I saw his father here in the stands. Watching his young son turn his game up. Woodbury's real pesty on defense. And it was Edmund again with a top in. Listen, this kid right now is single-handedly keeping Florence in this game. Florence down 36-32. And Florence with a rebound. And here they come on a fast break. And Edmund is down there again. He scores again. Woodbury's probably going to need to call a timeout. To yes, Woodbury's going to need to call a timeout to stop this. All they have to do is stop him and they win this game easy the way it looks. He's a one-man show. Put it on a great display. I started to the basket. He missed. And there goes Florence again with a rebound. And on the first break. Oh. And he's going to oh, no. That's Emin again, number 13, the crowd. Listen, his highlight reel for the day alone. Yes. <laughs> Is amazing right now. He's looks like Woodbury is going to call timeout with the score tied 36-36 with one minute and 37 seconds left in the third quarter. I'm a, I'm very impressed by this kid. Robert. Yes, I'm telling you, he's I, I mean he's on the offensive boards, he's on the defensive boards, he's getting yes steals. he is. Um, he's making passes. Let's yep, but we'll be right back. We're gonna go to a timeout here and we're on a commercial break. There, but we're back. Back in action. Third back in quarter. action. A uh, minute 36 left here in the third quarter. We have a tie game. First tie since 0 0. And Woodbury gets a basket coming right out of timeout. Uh, number 23, Marcus Magruder. And Edmund with 27 points here. We got 23 just scored. 23 from Woodbury. That last basket by Woodbury was number 23, Marcus Magruder. Oh! Jump ball. Jump ball possession out of Florence. <clears throat> so Florence here we have another opportunity where they can either take their first lead of the game or tie the game up at 38. So. Forty-five seconds left in the third quarter. Thirty-eight, thirty-six. We're back. Florence on the attack. They continue to swing the ball around and look for the inside shot. Good block by Triplet there. Man, Florence's numbers. Oh man, Florence had numbers rushed it too much. Did. Had an opportunity for a three-on-one break there and got a little ahead of themselves. And again, committing another turnover. I tell you what, Rob, if Florence loses this game, they're going to look back at all the turnovers. Yes, had all the turnovers Florence has had, they should be up by 10 or 15 points. Yeah, they're going to look and see all the missed opportunities. You know. Yes, along with the missed opportunities and the turnovers, you're probably looking at a 20-point lead.
And we got a travel on the spot as the turtle was a little bit With eight seconds left, Flarch will get the last shot of the quarter, possibly, with a chance to tie or take the lead. And here we go. They might not get a shot off. They ain't got it off. And at the end of the third quarter, we're playing 38, Florence 36. And we will be going to a commercial break. Hi, my name is Megan Hunter. I'm the owner and director at Groove Dance Fitness Training. We specialize in dance cardio and different genres of music. We also specialize in nutrition, meal plans, and meal prep service. So if you're ready to get fit, come rock with us. Okay, here we go. We're back with action. Started the fourth quarter. That was a big quarter for Florence there. Florence was able to cut that lead uh, to two points there. Again, riding the coattails of their uh, junior. Good steal by Strata. Good pass by Strata. A great score. Number two, Dean Trippett on that basket. Number two for Woodbury. He's, a, again, a, one of his highly laden seniors on this Woodbury team. Lawrence down four has opportunity to cut the lead to two or one. I'm sure they'll continue to look to get to the ball to number 13, Emma, as he takes a jump shot outside. Rebounded by Woodbury. Woodbury has to take better quality shots this quarter, continue to get rebounds, less turnovers, and control this game a lot better than they have in that first half and in that third quarter. Yes, they do. Good pass by Strider. And that basket was number 22. No, I'm sorry, number 23. Correction, that last basket was by Daquan Brinkley, number 22. Lawrence to the line, looking to cut the lead. First foul shot is good, number by number 34, Marcus Colwell. He's one of five seniors on this Florence team. I'm sure both teams came in today looking to, um, very excited to see where they measure up uh, amongst the state, other group one teams. Um, what better way to do that than to play another uh, number one seed in another section? So yes, it's a big opportunity here to uh, see where you're at uh, as far as uh, state play. Both teams are faring very well. 
Yeah, I totally agree with that. Both teams are, despite not playing their best basketball, they're still both you know playing a close game. So. Barry continues to swing the ball. Sure, they're going to look to get Estrada. Uh, there he goes to the right. basket. Estrada. As I said right there, they're looking to get the ball to Estrada. Estrada scores another basket there. As I said, right now they're going to need to ride the, the back of Estrada to uh, be able to win this game. Yes, yeah, so Estrada with 16 points. As Woodbury's up six points going into a timeout yeah, by Florence. Timeout Florence. We'll stay here. So, Rob, um, what we got coming up is uh, the Group 1 tournament here. Um, Woodbury, number one seed. Yes. They'll be playing Leap Academy. Uh, Florence is the number one seed in Central Jersey, and they'll be playing South Amboy. Um, yes. How do you think the first round of that playoffs is going to play out in South Jersey, uh, Group 1? And Woodbury's playing uh, Leap Academy. Leap Academy. Well, Woodbury, Woodbury will beat Leap Academy. Leap, Leap struggled this year. Um, they have a the record, I think, with like seven wins, I believe. I'm not sure. But um, they do have one decent player on their team. But uh, Woodbury will definitely overpower them and move on to the second round of the playoffs. And so far this year, Woodbury has um, beat a couple good teams in Camden Catholic, uh, Haddon Heights, and also they beat Paulsburg earlier this year. Um, but as you mentioned earlier, um, Woodbury played a tough game um, Tuesday against the numbers two seed, Paulsburg. Paulsburg coming away with a... a a good victory for them uh, again as they're a lot stronger now got a couple players back so definitely looking forward to the group one yes, uh, tournament yes. really looking forward to that group one south jersey final of both teams make it possible with Burr. here we go we're back in action here with, with five minutes and 45 seconds left in the game and florence with a layup by number 34. Again, florence continues to keep this game close woodbury has not been able to pull away 44-40 with Bray. And another rebound, number 13, Emman for Florence, the do-it-all player himself. Now, Woodbury's biggest lead in this game was, I believe, 10 points early in the first half, um, first or second quarter. And since then, uh, Florence has continued to chip away at it. And there again, uh, continues to be turnovers be the difference uh, by Florence. Lawrence has not been able to consistently make a run at this game because it's being interrupted by a lot of uh, sloppy play and turnovers. So, again, Woodbury also has had some bad turnovers, which has caused them to not be able to separate themselves. So, we'll see if they can continue to play well enough to win this game. Estrada with a three. And there it is, another basket by the town of sophomore Aaron Estrada. And I believe he has, what, 19, Rob? Something yeah, he like has that? 19 points right now. Woodbury doesn't look bad without their star player Noel on the bench. They look pretty good. Yeah, let's not make a mistake. Woodbury normally would be playing a lot better, but like Rob mentioned, you know, the uh, star player Jazir Noel has been out since the second quarter early, so. Turnover by Woodbury. Woodbury side not too happy about that. We thought it, they had a block by Tommy Carter, but which was called a foul. So Florence will go to the line with opportunity to cut this lead by two the deficit. I'm sorry, by two points. So four minutes twenty seconds. Woodbury leading 47-40. Matchup of the two number one seeds in Central Jersey and South Jersey. He makes the second. They score forty seven forty one.
Woodbury turn the ball, turns the ball over. Oh, oh. He's had, a, again. he's had a great day today for Florence. Number 13, the junior, Jabril Emmon. So he, with that basket, he cuts, uh, Florence cuts the lead to four. Yes, Emmon has 29 points. Wow, looks like Woodbury got away with a travel there. Woodbury scores the basket. It was number 23, Marcus Magruder, it looks like. It's 22. 22, I'm sorry, Daquan Brinkley that was on the basket. And again, Woodbury looked to get away with a travel. It wasn't called by the referees. Oh, jump ball. Oh, yeah. should, have been, should have been a jump ball. It looks like Florence got away with one. He's able to score the basket, number three. Hazel, Nick Hazel on the basket. So three minutes left, we got a four point lead. Oh. And basket inside scored by Dean Triplett as Woodbury puts the lead back 51 to 45. A lot of excitement, a lot of energy. And this is what you look for. Timeout. Florence. This is the type of energy you look for going into the group yes, one it tournament. Is. Yes. Into the uh, playoffs. For Woodbury, it's a good measure to see how well they can play. Yes, it is. Being that their star player both, hasn't played since early in teams, the first half. So. Both teams started out. Both teams started out slow, but they've came on strong here. Now, Rob, taking a look at the Central Jersey Group 1 tournament, what do you think about this tournament with Florence being a number one seed? Well, with Florence being a number one seed in that Group 1 tournament, they're, uh, they also have a... There are conference rival Burlington City in there. They're a four seed. So it's going to be pretty interesting. The two seed is Boundbrook. But I don't know about much about Boundbrook and basketball. Boundbrook is a, a wrestling school. But um, they, they certainly have put in a good season in basketball this year. Coming into the playoffs as a number two seed. As you mentioned, also um, Burlington City, that number four seed. And also want to mention Perth Amboy Tech being the number three seed. So... Like I said, if, if judging by today's game with the energy, despite some of the play, you know, the energy and excitement looks to be a, a good group one um, tournament this year, Central and South Jersey. Yes. So. Yes, group one is going to look pretty good this year at, uh, down on this end of the state of Jersey. So back in action, under three minutes, uh, Florence down by six. Opportunity to cut the lead again. And Brinkley continues to score inside for Florence. <laughs> Looks to be a little shooken up on the play. That was number 13. I'm sorry, um, Emmon. I apologize. Who has 31 points. Emmon has 31 for Florence. 31 of the 47 points. He's a one-man show today. Having a terrific game. I'm not sure what his career high is, but I'm sure this is amongst one of his highs. Woodbury <laughs> inbounds the ball, looking to pad their four-point lead. Just about 2.15 here to go in the fourth quarter. I think Woodbury's looking to try to kill some of the time here on this clock. Try to find a good play, scoring opportunity. Good rebound there by Woodbury. Woodbury spreading the ball out again. Like I said, we're under two minutes here. Woodbury, four point lead, and I'm sure they're in no rush. And they get a good pass. Got a that was number 10, Jay Sean Harvey on the basket. Deshaun Harvey, another one of the underclassmen here at Woodbury, getting some good playing time here. Good defense by Woodbury as well. This created another turnover by Florence. Woodbury has continued to create turnovers. 
if you ask me, Rob, that continues to be the difference of this game. Yes, yes they are. With Woodbury creating turnovers, Florence, you know, not taking care of the ball at all. And it's been pretty consistently from the um, first quarter to now, and they've continued to turn the ball over. Timeout, Woodbury. With 124 left in the game, winning 53-47. So we've had a great one here, Rob, so far. Woodbury versus Florence. I'm looking forward to the next one. 10:30 uh, coming up. We have Winslow versus Woodstown. Be the second game of the Paul Six 2017 Winter Classic. All right, I'm Terry Collins and my co-host Robert Page here. Uh, we have an exciting lineup again today. Um, after the Winslow Woodstown game, we have Camden Catholic versus Willingboro. Uh, we'll also have Pensalkin versus Middle Township. And then the big, highly, anti highly anticipated game of the day at uh, 3 p.m., you have Camden versus St. Augustine. Then it'll be followed up by Cherokee and Wildwood Catholic. And then the last two games, Bishop Eustace versus Holy Spirit and Highland versus St. Joe's. Um, Rob, I'm sure that gym uh, is going to be packed to the brim uh, come 3 o'clock, Camden versus St. Augustine. Yes, it will. It'll be packed with the number one team in South Jersey, St. Augustine coming in at 19-0. I'm sure that's one of the games that Camden has circled uh, on their schedule yes, at the it beginning is. of the year. So. Camden, Camden has had a tough schedule this year. They got St. Anthony's next week, so they, they're preparing for the playoffs. And we're going to goes right down and gets a layup. Good pass by Jason Harvey. That was number two, Dean Triplett. Dean Triplett has had a pretty good game here today also as Woodbury takes an eight-point lead. Uh, just about a minute left in this game. As Florence now Florence needs to take uh, some outside shots, which they haven't done much of all game. So, ball taken to the basket by number ten, Jay Sean Harvey, as he's fouled. Steal by Florence, and they miss an opportunity there to cut the lead to six. Florence was able to get a steal by the Darius McNeil, but he was not able to convert as he missed the layup. Woodbury will inbounds after the foul play. Woodbury will inbounds with an eight-point lead with 48 seconds left in the game. Looking to run the clock out and capitalize. And Woodbury passes the ball pass. Gets after. a layup out of oh, a triplet with a dunk. He was able to get the basket. It's like that seals the game right there, it looks like it, ladies and gentlemen. With Woodbury up 57 47 with 30 seconds left in the game. And again, that's the biggest lead that they've had today since early in the first half. And again, Woodbury with another steal. What fitting way for Florence, despite a loss, to go out. Edmund with a three-point basket there. Number 13. So there you have it. Our first game of the Paul Six Winter Classic. Woodbury 57, Florence 50, uh, which could be a possible preview again of a uh, group one sectional state game as both seeds will enter the playoffs as the number one seed. Woodbury being the number one seed in South Jersey and Florence being the number one seed in Central Jersey. When Edmund ends up with the highest score, high score of the game with 34 points in a losing effort, they had a great game there. And he uh, did a lot for Florence that whole game. Like I said, he continued to rebound, offense and defensive rebounds, continued to uh, pick up some steals, uh, played high energy. And again, Florence pretty much rode their back, his back as much as they could to try to win that game. So, you want to win that anytime soon? And uh, and uh, Evan, uh, let's see now. Nah, ended up with 19 points in the game. Right. For Woodbury, he was their high scorer and put in a high pack game for them. Yeah, he needed to have a good game, like I said, with uh, Jazir Noel going out in the second quarter and not coming back in. Um, I know Woodbury is uh, kind of happy to see the play of uh, some of their younger players. Um, with being able to pull out a seven-point win despite their star player, which is one of the top players in the state of New Jersey. So um, good effort on both teams. Like I said, uh, 
a lot of turnovers, uh, specifically for Florence. Um, Woodbury was able to capitalize enough to win the game. So, yep, yes they were. So okay, okay. So ladies and gentlemen, coming up at 10:30, tip off. That's at nine minutes. That's at nine minutes. We have Winslow versus Woodstown. Winslow coming in with a record of 7-11. And Woodstown 10 and 8. We'll be right back with a commercial break. It's Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Spirit has over 400 vehicles to choose from and 70 trucks on the ground ready to roll today. Drive home a new 2017 Ram 1500 quad cab for as low as $149 per month. Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram will get you driving today. Rates start at 0% with terms up to 84 months. For over 25 years, the Delaware Valley's smartest shoppers have been saving thousands on their new vehicle with the Spirit Saver price. Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is right off I-95 at the base of the Commodore Berry Bridge. You're only minutes away. Online 24-7 at Spirit. Chrysler Dodge Jeep.com. Spirit, we're selling excitement. Spirit. Hi, my name is Megan Hunter. I'm the owner and director at Groove Dance Fitness Training. We specialize in dance cardio and different genres of music. We also specialize in nutrition, meal plans, and meal prep service. So if you're ready to get fit, come rock with us.